The Best Hit USA with Mick Jagger こんばんは、小林先生です今日はこの人を迎えてスペシャルをお送りしますわかります Thank you Uh, is this your first visit here? Yeah, this is my first visit to Japan. I, I thought you might have dropped by, you know, incognito. Uh, no, I never did. I, to the airport once. Okay. Oh, you pat? I was oh, off. Yes. Mm -hmm. How, how's the country? Uh, well, it didn't really seem very much, a little bit. Um, uh -huh. The first d two days I slept. Uh-huh. Sort of on and off. But today I went out a little bit. And tonight I'm going to go out a bit more. So, mm -hmm. I have to tell you in a week. Yeah, it looks, it looks like it would be fun. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, the, the, the way buildings are bunched up together? Well, that's uh, pretty like that everywhere. Oh, yeah. Mm. But, um, no, it looks uh, very uh, clean mm -hmm. compared to New York mm. and ordered. Uh huh. Could you uh, tell us how your, your concert was realized? How did it happen that you came over here? You came here? Well, um, I was having this holiday from the Rolling Stones mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was invited to come here and, play, and to play mm -hmm. and um, I thought, well, I don't know, they invited me before 15 years ago. Right. And um, then, so yeah. this time I have to be um, more sure. That you can come. So I wasn't really sure. So then uh, I thought, well, maybe it's not going to happen. But eventually, um, And they made everything work, so here I am. I saw you in 1982 in London. Yeah. Uh, was that, la that was that the was last the last one. long concert I did. Right. When you have a, a big concert like this, do you, uh, do you uh, keep yourself in shape? I, we read somewhere that you run seven miles, eight well, miles no. a day. No, no, no. You don't? No, I don't do that. It's very bad for you. Don't, please don't run seven miles a day. Oh, you used to run, right? No, 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 no. it's very What? bad. I, I saw, uh, today I went to the park um, and saw famous, I can't remember her name, a famous lady marathon uh -huh. ru runner. She was running round and round. It made me exhausted just to see her. It's really tiring. So please don't run that much. I, I thought you learned uh, dancing too. Uh, you, you, you a little bit of dancing. Bit. But, the, but the way uh, you move around on the stage, it's uh, natural, right? Yeah. Mm. It's, You're well it's not uh, choreographed. Yeah, I can tell you that. I ask you because you, uh, Mick Jagger has created the image of the uh, typical rock artist, you know, who can uh, really uh, wave a storm. And uh, don't have anybody ask you that you, when you have to have a concert, you have to play your own image you have created yourself. See? Well, I, I don't know about the images. I, I think you have to be. Don't But worry about images too much. You don't? No. You, you just never felt like be that. yourself mm -hmm. and don't worry about image. The Best Hit USA with Mick Jagger continues. The Best Hit USA with Mick Jagger. Could you tell us more about uh, the previous two uh, solo albums? The first, uh, uh, we were kind of surprised when you came up with the solo album. I, I think you took time and you chose uh, Nye Rogers and uh, Bill, Bill as well, yeah. as producer. Actually, was, that album was done very quickly. You know, I, yeah, I felt that I felt like doing a record that didn't take very long and mm -hmm. you know just go in and work with different people and just it was do a jam, it jam very fast. Mm -hmm. More, yeah. just go in and jam uh, on the songs, um, which I had a lot of fun doing because. Sometimes rock and roll becomes too painstaking for me. Uh, uh, 
it's nice to be painstaking sometimes and get everything exactly right, but that can drive you a little crazy. So I like to do it sometimes fast. And in the second album, I took more, it was more thoughtful and I took a bit more care uh, on it than I did on the She's a Boss album. But Dave did two or three tracks, and then I did some myself and some with Keith Diamond. Um, and in between that, did the dirty work, Stone Down, which was um, quite a meticulous album. And, and so it's, it's kind of sometimes it's quite hard work in the studio. So now I'm happy to be doing shows instead of being in the studio. Is the system is uh, of making your own music? Is does it uh, differ depending on the album? The first solo album was a quickie. You yeah. Say, uh, well, it just depends. You, 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 you want them to go as quickly as possible. I do, because I don't like to... For me, the, uh, the, the first time you do a song is the, the most exciting. Mm -hmm. And um, if you do it like, over and over and over, it loses the excitement for me. And you, you throw away the song? Or you... Yeah, sometimes. But um, I think... Um, that rock and roll should be a, a fast medium, but more and more it's become a, a more technical and more programmed. Programmed, yeah. like more like machine a, and computer like and yeah, and uh, marketed and so on. Big business and so on. So that's the life. <laughs> you have been uh, mainly uh, creating rock and roll. That means dance. Dance music, right? Uh, yeah, dance a lot. music. Mm -hmm. Could you uh, tell us uh, the, the, the how you were baptized with the rock and roll or rhythm and blues, or what well, was the first encounter? Uh, um. Well, I mean, when I was very young, and yeah. then, uh, I used to see when blues and rhythm and blues singers used to come to England. They, I used to go to the shows and see Americans. Them. Yeah. And go and see them. And people like... They were kind of more blues than rhythm and blues. Because rhythm and blues wasn't really allowed. You know? uh -huh. <laughs> but they didn't like it. If you came to England and played electric guitars or things like that, they said, no, no, we don't want you to play electric guitar. We want you just to play folk blues. So when you used to go and see these people, they would play more traditional styles, but people like Memphis Slim and so on, Sonny Boy Williamson, um, they were kind of the, also gospel um, bands would come to England. And so when I was 13 or 14, 15, I used to go and see those shows and they were um, a great inspiration. But also there was all kinds of other things going on at that time. From you the know, radio? From the radio, Elvis and so on. And, um, and also country music was popular. And we had these things in England called skiffle bands. Uh -huh. That's where you and, started. Yeah, and everyone had a skiffle band. You know. The Beatles had a skiffle band. And every band started really uh -huh. like that. That was around the time when you were uh, Alex, Alex's... Alex's Corner, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was um, in the very early 60s. But at the same time, you're going to, you, you were... Uh, uh, a business administra administration student, right? No, not really. I was studying um, economics and politics. I wasn't a business administration. <laughs> Would have been kind of useful for me now. <laughs> but there was no business administration. It was, um, no, I was at college and I, I didn't really get a lot of work done because every weekend I was singing with um, bands and so on, clubs. Um, so that my work really suffered, so I had to make a choice, which was a kind of tough choice at the time, because, you know, you didn't think that any of this was going to go on very long. Right, but you did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, that was 19, what, 60, 60... No, it's too many years ago. Too many years ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> go.
The Best Hit USA with Mick Jagger continues. The Best Hit USA with Mick Jagger. Each time you come up on an album, I, 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 I can see uh, you do some experiment in sounds, you know, something new. Yeah, um, but I'm very much a traditional um, rock and roll person as well. But I like to, to um, play with sounds a lot. But quite often when I come to make the records, I go in a much more traditional way because I have a very traditional um, background as far as a lot of sounds are concerned. And now I like to use drum programs. I also like to use drums as well. So I'm pretty conservative as far as that's concerned. But I think that... Because I just love drums because it's just a physical... Mm -hmm. I love to watch them play and I like to interact with with live drums when I'm singing, in the studio as well as live. And I find it's very difficult to interact with a... You can't interact with a program in the same way. We just can't do it, because you have to program it, and then you have to... Uh, then you have to um, go and sing it over, whereas if you sing it with the drummer, he can make adjustments, and you can make adjustments with him in a live way. So for me, I prefer to sing with, with drummers. Um, and also, I, I prefer time that moves. You know, in, in records like Hong Kong Women, it starts off at a certain speed, and then it speeds up, and it speeds up, and it speeds up. Right. So at the end, it's going... It starts off 100 beats a minute and ends at 130. But all music now starts at the same beats a minute yeah. and ends at the same beats a minute. So uh, if you don't do that, your record will sound strange to people, but they don't know really why. So everything has become more um, more set. You know? So time is much more set than it used to be, and sounds are more set than they used to be. Um, it's just sort of evolved like that, through mainly through the use of machines. So when you're recording, do you uh, record at the same time with the drummer, or do you, uh... yeah, sometimes, but sometimes I do programs. It's just uh. um, I never did programs with the Rolling Stones, but I do programs on my own. But I mean, every almost 100 percent of the music you hear is all programmed on the radio. You never hear anything that isn't, unless it's older than say 10 years or something. But now they've got human element. You know, program human element. Right. And, you know... You I know, you can, you can program uh, human elements. But it, for a performer, it's more fun to actually have... The rapport of the yeah. live. Yeah, it's much better for a performer. Are you, are you, do you have any plans for any extra concerts in any other part of the world? With Not at the, the moment, you... but we'll see. This is something... Um, this Japanese tour is just something apart. We'll see what happens, maybe. And uh, after that, possible Stones uh, album? After or... that, uh, Stones album, I hope very quickly to make a quick album. <laughs> and um, um, But I think that's going to be the end of this year, to yeah, start no. that project. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh you, you keep contact with the, the, all the members? Yes, by the ether. No, yeah, I get on the phone mm. <laughs> and so on. Yeah, we will probably start that project at the end of this year. というわけで来日のミック・ジャガーのインタビューを中心にお送りいたしましたインタビューが終わりましてスタッフに丁寧に挨拶をしてミック・ジャガーは帰ってきました